What we'll do in this video is to show that if x and y are two distinct vertices of a graph G, then every xy walk in G contains an xy path. So remember that a walk can have repeated vertices and repeated edges, and a path cannot. So let's go ahead and see how we might do this. Proof. Let w be a walk, so let's have x be equal to the first vertex, u0, and the walk goes from u0 to u1 to u2, and we just continue to walk through the graph, and we get finally to u sub k, which is equal to the last vertex, y. So this is our xy walk. This is the x, y, walk. In fact, x is the first vertex, u0, and y is the last vertex, uk. Now it's important to observe that if this walk w has no repeated, no repeated vertices, then w is in fact an xy path. Now you may need to think about that for a moment, but if you have no repeated vertices, then you must also have no repeated edges. Of course, if you repeated an edge, then you would have had to repeat a vertex too. So if w has no repeated vertices, then we're already done because we have an xy path. So what happens if w does have repeated vertices? Suppose w has a repeated vertex. So, for example, ui equals uj, where i is less than j. So if you look up here, you're th walking along through this walk, and at some point you find a ui, and later you come to uj, which is in fact the same as the ui you started with. So if you want to visualize this, this is u0, which we've called x, and we walk through some number of vertices, so maybe this one was u1, and we eventually end up at ui. Then we continue in the walk, but I'm going to draw a little bit like this. We continue in the walk, and we end up at uj, which is ui. And then we keep going in the walk. So this is the basic idea. We have a piece of the walk that we can basically remove. That's what we are going to do. And now it's important to keep in mind why this labeling is here. This labeling represents where you are in the walk. So here we start at a vertex u0, and as soon as you move to another vertex, you immediately call that one u1 and the next one u2, and you give them these distinct labels, even though they might in fact be the same vertex like we see down here. We started at u0, we move along until we get to some ui, then we continue to travel along some other edges, and then we end up back where we started. So our uj happens to actually be our ui, where we were before. And we continue on like this, and eventually we'll end up at y. So the point is that this little piece that's hanging over here can be removed. So if we go ahead and remove this, remove this portion, and what remains is still a valid walk. What remains is still a valid walk. And it goes from x to y still, so it's still a valid x, y walk. Essentially what we've done is we've said, okay, well, there is this walk that goes from u0 of some length, and it ends up at ui, and then this piece goes to uj, whoops, this should be a u, uj of some length, and then eventually we're going to get back to our vertex uk. Now remember, we're calling our uk y and our u0 x, and what we've done is we've basically just taken this part out, we've removed this, and we end up with u0 to ui, which happens to equal uj, so actually you don't need this either, so you've gotten up to ui, and now you just continue again along this bit of the path, and that works out 
because the edge leaving uj still leaves ui. They are the same vertex. So you just continue until you get to uk. And this is the reduced walk. So this walk is of smaller length, smaller length, in other words it has fewer edges, and if it has, if it has no repeated edge, uh, vertices, no repeated vertices, then it is the walk, is the walk that is in fact a path, it is the path that we've been searching for. But if it does have repeated vertices, what do we do? Well, we repeat this process exactly again. So if it has no repeated vertices, then we're done, and otherwise, repeat the process. Repeat the process. So that's the idea. You just compete, uh, repeat this process until what you have has no repeated vertices. And that is the XY path that you're looking for. So that is the conclusion.